CFE, today's topic is on the TSI-A2 and the PAA. What is the TSI-A2? The TSI-A2 measures college readiness for students. It is a placement test to see your skill level in math, reading, and writing. For the math section, there are approximately 20 multiple choice questions that are covered. The topics include quantitative reasoning, geometric and spatial reasoning, probability, and statistics. Personal calculators are not allowed on the test, however, you will have access to an on-screen calculator. For the English and Writing section, there are approximately 30 multiple choice questions. Topics include text synthesis, analysis, content revision, and editing for conventions. You may be required to write a persuasive essay. Dictionaries are not allowed, but scratch paper will be available. Not everyone needs to take the TSI A2. Take a look at the different scores that can exempt you from taking the TSI. For the SAT, if you have an evidence-based reading and writing score of at least a 480, you would be exempt from the English section. If you have at least a 530 on the math, you would be exempt from the math. As for the ACT, a composite score of 23 is required, or an English and math score of 19 in each section would be required. If you don't meet any of those standards, that's where the TSI comes into play. You would need at least a 945 or higher on the English section, section and an essay score of at least a 5. If you do not meet that, you'll get a second opportunity with the diagnostic. And if you get at least a 5 on the diagnostic, you can still show college readiness scores. For the math section, you need at least a 950. If you do not have a score of at least a 950, then you would be given a diagnostic and a score of at least a 6 or higher will give you the college readiness scores. Keep in mind that even though you may have college readiness scores, the colleges and universities will require, may require higher scores for admission purposes. The TSI A2 is entirely online, it is taken in class, and it is an untimed test. You will be allowed scratch paper, but keep in mind you cannot go back in the test. Before you take the TSI A2, you need to take what's called the PAA, the Pre-Assessment Activity. This shows you some sample TSI A2 problems. They also have some videos that you would be required to watch. It is online and it is absolutely free. Just make sure you allow yourself 20 to 30 minutes in order to take the PAA. You can go to tsipreview.com in order to take the PAA. You select your high school and then follow the prompts. Make sure you enter your information exactly how it appears on the school records. If you have two last names, make sure you enter two last names. If you have one last name, make sure you only enter one. After you've completed the PAA, you will receive an email that will have your completion certificate. Please save that email and don't forget to study for the actual TSI A2 test. How can you prepare for the TSI A2? There are sample question packets that are available directly through College Board, and there is also the AccuPlacer practice test that is available. If not, you can always reach out to your CCMR Dean in order to find out some additional resources that are available. So am I required to take the TSI A2, the pre-assessment activity? Yes, all students are required to take the pre-assessment activity and make sure you keep a copy of your certificate upon completion. What if you have a disability? Make sure that you speak with your student services department so that way accommodations can be requested if you need them. That is it for this round. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website or reach out to your CCMR Dean for more information. Have a good one.